Anne-Marie also remembered her life in Denmark with fondness. As a young mother, and throughout her life, she could draw on the lessons she learned as a farm girl near her birthplace in Sindal, Denmark. Da jeg var seks år gammel, arbejdede jeg som gåsepige på en stor gård nær den danske landsby, hvor vi boede. På varme sommerdage kunne jeg... When I was six years old, I worked as a servant girl, herding geese on a large farm near the Danish village where we lived. On hot summer days, I saw the hired hands stop their work for a moment and pour themselves a cool drink out of a large wooden barrel that sat conveniently under a shady tree in the backyard. Oh, how they seemed to enjoy this sparkling liquid. It looked so delicious. I longed for just a taste. I was thirsty too, and tired from chasing the geese to keep them away from the gardens. You must drink water, they told me. This drink is just for grown-ups. Forbidden drink like forbidden fruit is so tempting. So it was inevitable that one day when the master and the mistress were away, I sampled the brew from the barrel, a foaming cup for which I drank in a hurry so I wouldn't be caught. Oh, the terrible churning in my stomach, the pain, the heaving. When the mistress returned, she found me on the grass, pale and mourning. When questioned, all I would say was that I had an awful stomach ache. Oh, you poor little thing, I'll fix you a drink and you'll soon be well, she said. To my horror, I saw the mistress go to the barrel and pour a cup of the golden drink that had made me so ill. No, no, I cried. I feel better. I cleansed my teeth and refused to swallow a drop. I learned very young that strong drink is not good for the belly and that crimes does not pay. The years went by for Christian and Anne-Marie and their young family. They were staunch Lutherans and read the Bible regularly and attended church on Sunday. When Jens Peter was five years old, an event occurred which changed the course of their lives. Missionaries from the distant land of America taught them about a religion that had been established through a direct revelation from God. After much soul-searching, fasting, and prayer, they were eager to be baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Poor Anne-Marie, so me and the Oaks were left out, melt we us in in Mormon Kirken. We were utolmoi etter, or On our ninth wedding anniversary, Anne-Marie and I joined the Mormon Church. We were anxious to share our new faith with friends and family. We were surprised that family members shunned and ridiculed us and our former friends became bitter enemies. But we remained faithful to our new church. It was not until 16 years after our conversion that we began the process of immigrating to Utah with our only son, Jens Peter. Jens, then 21, went first in hopes of finding work so that he could help pay for the passage of his mother and me. His fare on the ship Nevada cost our family $290. 